We recently hatched out a clutch of some of the most beautiful ball pythons that I have ever seen. And while we are so freaking excited for these babies, this project has actually probably been the most challenging project that we have worked so far. So for this week's video, we're going to go over and show off all of these incredible little hatchlings and we are going to talk about some of the challenges and finally why the asphalt project in particular is still one of the top three projects that we have going into the future. My name is Steven with Leviathan Snakes and let's get to it. Asphalt, specifically super asphalt, is my personal favorite project. And I knew I had to have it the first time I saw one in person. When we started going to Tinley or Daytona, these big shows, there's some absolutely incredible animals there, but I have always been drawn to those super asphalts and freeways. We purchased our first asphalt animal from our good friend Troy over at Balls and Strikes. She's a gorgeous Mardi Gras and we absolutely love her. She looks stunning. I almost I almost said a bad word. Uh, she looks absolutely stunning as an adult and we are obsessed with her. We bought into the asphalt project in I think early 2021 or maybe very, very late in 2020. And at that time, genetic testing wasn't around yet. So if you wanted to work the asphalt project, specifically super asphalts, and you didn't have a super asphalt to begin with, you pretty much had two options. And that was by a yellow belly slash asphalt because animals that were produced from freeways were fairly common and fairly easy to get, but you are running essentially a coin flip on whether or not that animal actually was going to carry asphalt or if they were going to carry yellow belly. The dad to the clutch that we're showing off is our boy Atlas. He's a female maker banana ODNG asphalt male and we purchased him because he was a guaranteed asphalt and he had so many cool genes in him. When we picked him up I actually saw him on Morph Market. I think I even saw him at Daytona. Wanted him, didn't buy him because we were kind of holding out for a super asphalt male which we still don't have by the way and we went to Daytona. We couldn't find that super asphalt male. I was just hanging out on Morph Market seeing what I could find and I saw that this male did not actually sell at that show so I talked to Steven it was a very big purchase for us especially at the time and he has just been a fabulous sire he sired three or four clutches for us last year and he's siring several more for us this year so he's definitely paid himself off but as Steven mentioned prices have absolutely changed since we have had the ability to start shed testing with companies such as RGI Because he was just asphalt, he wasn't a freeway, he was guaranteed to be asphalt because he came from a super asphalt. So even though there wasn't genetic testing at the time based off his pairing, the only thing that he could have been was asphalt. So with this guarantee in mind, there was a pretty substantial premium put on him. And I'm pretty sure that we ended up spending like four, $4.5,000 on this mail at that time, which we were super, super excited about. So as genetic testing came out and it gave breeders the ability to test their yellow belly or asphalt animals in order to determine which one they actually were, this completely changed the game for the asphalt project and in some ways made it way better because now you had way more viable pairings because you didn't have to worry about only using a guaranteed asphalt or only using a super asphalt if you were wanting to make sure that you were producing asphalts in the babies. So with genetic testing being able to let you know which of the babies actually were asphalt, what it ended up doing is it pretty much took away the premium price for guaranteed asphalts because essentially at this point now you spend $60 with Rare Genetic Genetics Incorporated, buy a test off of Morph Market or on Clutch, send in the shed, and then you know. And so even though you might have to spend an extra 60 bucks and maybe wait a little bit in order to get the results back, the fact that people don't have to wait two to three years to grow up an animal completely changed the market for this specific project. That said, it doesn't stop the babies from being absolutely stunning. Now I know I can't hold all three of these babies back, but I really want to. Out of the clutch, we only got three that got asphalt from dad. Um, so he was a female maker banana OD and G asphalt, meaning that he had 
a chance of giving asphalt to about half of his babies. And in this case, out of eight or nine eggs, was it eight eggs, um, he gave asphalt to three of them. And since mom was a Mardi Gras and she has the yellow belly asphalt, she gave yellow belly or asphalt to all of her babies. That's how we know we only got three with asphalt from dad because the remainder um, got those genes from mom. So this is a banana freeway. We believe it's a banana enchi freeway, possibly OD. I don't believe it's a super enchi, but it's just so cool looking with this like, white, it almost looks pied with this high white. It's one of my favorites. It's, she's gonna be really hard to let go um, just cause she's so unique and so beautiful. This is the next banana freeway in the clutch. Um, she is also probably Enchi, possible OD. She doesn't have quite as much white in her. I actually think I like her better. Uh, she looks more like a super asphalt to me. I think if we hadn't hit the super asphalt in the clutch, I might be thinking she was super asphalt, but I th it's this like strong freeway dorsal stripe that, that makes me think. She is freeway. We're gonna test all these babies just to be sure because they're so funky. We wanna make sure um, we're selling them as what they are or breeding them as what they are. And since we have that ability with RGI, we're definitely taking advantage of it. This girl is our definite holdback. She's the super asphalt banana. I don't believe she has Enchi. Uh, she might have Orange Dream though. So again, we're gonna test her and see. She is so gorgeous. The colors are so vibrant and they contrast so well. They are just straight up orange, purple, and yellow. It is so unique. I absolutely love it. Um, I've seen some other really gorgeous banana super asphalts on Morph Market and I'm pretty confident in that ID but we're just gonna get her tested to see. I am so happy with her as a holdback. We haven't named her yet, but I can't, like she just hashed out and I'm already like excited about seeing her offspring. This super enchi banana, asphalt or yellow belly is the last banana of the clutch. She's a really, really pretty girl. And she very interestingly has um, some freckles already. And with her being a super enchi banana, normally they freckle very lightly, if at all. Um, so I'm surprised to already see some freckles on her and she hasn't had but the one shed. Uh, but she's a very pretty little girl. Super enchi banana possible, yellow belly possible asphalt. One or the other. We have two Super Enchi Asphalt or Yellow Belly males. They're very pretty. I really like the Super Enchi. They give kind of that like Super Striker zebra look to them. Um, I, I think they're very pretty. So they're, both of these are either Asphalt or Yellow Belly uh, and Super Enchi males. Finally, we have some very pretty like OD Asphalt slash Yellow Belly males. I love the color. I feel like Orange Dream is beautiful on its own and, and with the asphalt or yellow belly, it really brings the flames of the side and makes that orange really pop in the babies. Yeah. We are super, super excited about the asphalt project overall, and we personally think that Banana Freeways, Banana Super Asphalts, they are some of our favorite snakes that we have ever made. Anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next week.